Veritas, and Fortitude Oak. So we have Wisdom, Truth, and Strength. And here we have Christos, meaning charity or love. We have three small circles and three large circles within the entire circle. I think the self and a mirror, the mirror with the rays of light and the symbol of unity. You'll note we also have a symbol of mortality here. Uh, there's a skull behind it. And he's aware that it's there, but he's not focusing on it. Uh, this alludes to a certain uh, text in scripture uh, which states, Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth. This upper circle here depicts the years of man who were adultery. Here we have a slightly uh, older man. This shows a uh, young man reflecting on himself in a mirror. The mirror has a kind of a rays of light, which is a very common uh, symbol of deity. And we see the word in Latin, veritas. It's in Gothic architecture, it's intended to be a, maybe a witness or a protective spirit to keep the building safe and the occupants safe. It's uh, really kind of a nod way back to uh, painting. But commonly used in Gothic architecture, We'll see the green down south, which you uh, we probably recognize from Shakespeare. This is essentially Shakespearean for do the right thing. It's intended to remind the masons who meet here, the building is full of symbols. It's intended to remind them as they leave, in a, yet another symbol, that what they do here, what they hear here, the lesson. Just be mindful up there. The uh, railings were built for shorter people in a shorter time. So you just want to be mindful. Of this is the Greek Ionic Quadrant. It's called the Greek Ionic Quadrant because of the Greek Ionic columns that we have in the room. We know they're Ionic columns because we have curled balloons at the Capitol. The Greeks designed this column at the time. This is a typical Masonic Lodge room that you would find anywhere in the world. I say typical because it has all of the same symbolism and elements in it that every Lodge room has. This is probably not so typical from a size and scale perspective. Most Lodge rooms are not two stories tall. Most of them won't accommodate you and 250 of your closest friends comfortably. Uh, 350, not so comfortable. But we have all the elements that the Masonic Lodge room has. We have chairs in the east for the Worshipful Master. The Worshipful Master is the head of the Lodge. We call him Worshipful Master not because we worship him, but we see some other secondary chairs, individual chairs around the room for secondary officers to assist with uh, the process of initiation. Um, you know, we can have desks for the secretary and treasurer, like every organization, we have to read the minutes and pay the bills. Uh, but we also have some elements like 